Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. This is bad. Walmart cuts its earnings forecast and send everybody into panic mode. Everybody knows Walmart is the beast, the big dog. Whenever Walmart say things is getting bad, whenever Walmart starts to panic, things is about to get bad, guys. It's about to get way worse than a lot of people expected, and it's going to get, you know, it's going to get crazy, guys. I'm talking too crazy. And whoever have a stockpile of cash and got money still sitting, money, things that they can liquidate, assets that they can liquidate, and have access to cash to be able to take seeds of opportunity that's about to present itself, because opportunity is already here. Let's be clear. It's already here. The price is set. But the even the bigger the opportunity, we already know that's the bigger the bang of the book that you're going to get in return. So with that being said, guys, it's about to be insane at the amount of, you know, housings that, you know, is bad and is good. No, I hate for the people that's going to lose their stuff, but for the people that's able to, you know, get it. It is what it is. Like it's a bad and a good situation. Cause I'm, you know, I'm just thinking about how many families and people that this is going to hurt and stuff. And you know, you you got to think about others, guys. But at the same time, that's why I say, you know, you still got to know at the end of the day, it's going to be somebody that take the shit in the stick. Just like with the market, every time you make money, someone lost money. When you lose money, someone just made money. So remember that. It's the same thing with what's going what's about to take place because as i was saying i was finna go you know get crazy and be excited about the opportunity that's coming but it's kind of uh sad at the same time and that's just being real guys because i done had people you know in my family people that's close to me that done lost things like that if i never experienced and never seen nothing like that i never seen the bottom i'd be kiki and laughing and yeah it's great to take people things but nah hell no i mean it is what it is though i got it i'm gonna get mine but in the day that's that, that's crazy it's crazy that we uh being put in this position to where the government the feds, the big dogs, the people that's creating this problem is now trying to fix it. Like I told you guys, if you've been following the channel, majority of the money that's being printed in the U.S. today, 80% of it has been printed in the last 25 months, guys. In the past two years, the entire world currency that's trans, uh, that's circulating in the U.S. has been printed in the past 25 months. That don't even make sense, guys. As long as we've been here, as long as this world, this economy been operating, and you telling me the majority of the money, 80%, been printed in the past 25 months. Whenever you print a surplus amount of capital like they have done, they knew it was going to go only create one problem. That's inflation. Whenever you print a lot of money but the, the goods and the inventory is not matching the amount of money that's there, it's going to make uh people in the businesses rise raise their prices because there's so much money that's here and you know now things is much more expensive because everybody wants to buy this this product that i got but i don't have enough to sell it to everybody so now i got to hike my prices up so that's exactly what's basically happening guys in a nutshell they caused this to happen and now things is about to get worse guys it's about to get bad so like i told you guys i still am expecting for the market to have a crazy spike somewhere in, in between and the being for the fact uh, of the psychological points of the market also like i told you guys they just can't hammer it hammer it hammer it down like that because even though it's steady coming down people is also buying and that spike will happen guys being for the fact of the psychological points of the market as well so many people is about to go short on the market because they see what's going on they know walmart cutting their uh expectations on earnings like that is going to have everything in an uproar and if we go deeper into that that's exactly uh what i'm exactly meaning by this is whenever a place like walmart even during crisis or whatever we're going through the people the majority of americans still need walmart that's a go-to place so for walmart to cut their expectations and stuck with inventory that they no longer need because the people don't see it useful during a time like this and now you know they stuck on top of that they ain't no never see that money back for a while and on top of that got to rebuy the other products and catch up on products that people actually need and on top of that you know things are slowing down people's not buying as much as they were before you know got to cut people rates all these type of things so this is just the first drop in the bucket but it's going to be a lot of different uh news outlets that's breaking news 
uh, going all over the place about, you know, these big businesses cutting people hours, cutting people rates, you know, a lot of different things going to be happening because money rule the world and these big guys is being hit the hardest. It seems as if, you know, the smaller ones is hit the hardest, but hell, if you only got a thousand dollars and you lose everything, go down to zero, it's easy for me to get back a thousand. It's easy for you to get back a thousand. But whenever you got millions and billions and billions of dollars, and then whenever eighty percent that is taken away from you, it's harder to get back a hundred billion dollars than it is to get back a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. What most poor or ten thousand dollars? What more most you know people that don't got that much have? So it's easier to get back what you lose than it is to get back what they lose. So that's why things is going to that's going to shake the whole world it's going to shake the whole world because these guys is going to do anything to keep that money and to keep that power so with that being said they willing to mess up your family lives and make sure don't care if they got food on their table or they getting eight hours they need to make sure they ends is met they don't care about that long as they long as they pockets and they families is fed at the end of the day so you already know guys tesla done did it they done cut workers people you know writing uh crazy letters saying how you know devastating it was and this and third they wouldn't think they would do nothing like that to them and it's just about to get crazy guys this is just a, a a drop in the bucket right here but anyways like i said though guys in the meantime you definitely want to be holding on as much cash as you can as you possibly can right now is a good time to be buying the market crypto all that but like i said guys i don't believe it's a great time yet so because i do believe things are going to get worse but if you look in a day trade get in get out now's the time to be getting in because i do believe a crazy uh spike will be happening guys here soon being for the fact that so many shorts is piling in on the opposite side of the market the market isn't just going to reward laziness or just reward people like that so i do believe you know it's going to be a lot of trickiness going on even though we know things is bad and it's only going to get worse just don't expect the market to the, the trade that way you can still you know it's still going to be green days it's still going to be crazy uh opportunities to make lots of money but in the grand scheme of things the whole outlook of it it's bad it's bad as hell and it's only getting worse so you already know guys what to do edge boy on instagram at the behave show i love y'all we out and god bless y'all we come